about it. I know I just did a video about Dr. Drew and, and MTV about teen pregnancy, but this one is a little bit different. I, um, I did a video about abuse and uh, and uh, I want to show y'all a picture the reason I'm doing this video is because of domestic violence. I did a video about abuse, but this one I want to do about domestic violence. And the reason why is because I watched this movie named, uh, named the Th uh, Tracy Thurman. Now, the picture that you see is the after effect of police not responding. Look. She's been fucked up in front of her two-year-old kid. Her kid was sitting there watching her get fucked up by her husband for five years. This is what happened when domestic violence is not taken care of. This is what she used to look like. I'm going to show you. This is what she used to look like. That was... Now, that's the, that's what the after look is. There, there's the scar. This woman did not deserve this. This woman did not deserve to get this. This is what she used to look like. That's Tracy Thurman. That's her son. Beautiful woman. Beautiful woman. How did this woman go from beautiful to looking like this? How in the hell does she go from beautiful to looking like this? And I did a video about abuse. And and this happened back in 85. In 85, five years, this woman went through hell and back. Got a two-year-old son with a, by her abusive husband, Buck Thurman. Every day, every night, every day, every night, Buck Thurman would show up, stalk this woman, call her death threats to this woman and she calls the police every time he comes around and the police removes him from the area and every day she makes a phone call to, to say that her husband is stalking her giving death threats and the police have gotten all this evidence that he's calling her threatening her, stalking her every which way everything that he's done they got it but they, did they do anything fuck no they didn't do a damn thing to help this woman this woman was scared of out of her, scared out of her wits and scared for her son and no one helped this woman I felt so bad for her because I watched the movie her truly uh, crying for cry for help the Tracy Thurman story I watched it I love the movie and you probably say why that's a gay ass movie no it's about domestic violence it's about a woman fighting for her life this is about a woman who had her fucking ex her fucking husband stalk her almost killing her stabbing her in her fucking neck in her head slitting almost slitting her throat that's why you see that ring around her neck they kind of like look like a necklace but it's a scar that's the aftermath of what police don't do they almost this girl almost died the police didn't want to do a damn thing and when the police did come they watched this man do this cut stab kicked in the fucking head right in front of her own damn son so she sued Connecticut Connecticut police for allowing this to happen for not doing their fucking job on domestic violence now there is a law set in Connecticut it was set in 85 or 86 called the Thurman Law domestic violence because they
they didn't want nothing to happen. If they, because one thing is, police don't get off their ass and do their fucking job. Another woman will end up like this, or even worse, dead. Even dead. Look at her. St stab wounds. That's her back. 13 fucking stab oh, Was it 13 or 58 stab It was 13 I think. 13 stab wounds. That's Buck. Charles Buck Thurman. Almost killing this woman, and motherfuckers didn't want to do nothing but sit on their ass and let this woman die. I said, How many more? And it, and it still goes on. It still goes on. Still goes on every damn day, and the fucking police won't do a damn thing about it. Every damn day, this woman goes through this. And I look at it, man, like, are you fucking for real? Are you fucking for real? That these people won't help this woman. That these... I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't get how... This, I just don't get it how. Oh, it's just so fucked up that women and men go through this. Women and men go through this every day. And that's abuse, like I just did that video. Men get abused, so does women. Domestic violence. Y'all don't believe me that men get abused, but they have been abused. And this is no laughing matter. Now this woman, Tracy Thurman, almost died in front of her own son. Almost died in front of her fucking son because the police wouldn't do nothing. And they, and they fucks me up. That the police, that many times that a policeman, police officer, a police officer set up there, police get all these phone calls about domestic violence. Half, um, half of them, and, and, and the funny thing about it is they do take them down to jail and arrest them and put them in the tank. Or they, when they say tank, they mean the jail cell. But that doesn't do nothing. When you keep them there for a week, it doesn't do nothing. It really doesn't. Because you don't know when that person that was doing the, the abuse, the beating, and all this, you don't know when they're going to end up doing it again to the same person pulling that domestic violence shit. That one night in the jail cell won't help. That two nights in the jail cell won't work. A week will not do. Some years, yes. Years. Give them more than two but not less than nine. Because it's un it's, un it's unnecessary to allow people to walk the streets. And, and I think there's several states that actually got this law of domestic violence because of Tracy Thurman. And I'm proud of this woman that she's still alive to th today. I feel bad for her because she got she went through hell and back for this. And I think that a justice system needs to wake up. And this is 80. That was, this is back in the 80s. This is 2012. You're probably wondering why. Why are you doing a story that was done way back in the 80s? Well, I was born in the 80s. I'm an 80s baby. And just to see this, where well, this woman went through so much. And it breaks my arm because there's 
like I said, there's men that go through this and there's women go through this domestic violence in the house. Even when they have a child in the child or children in involved. And I'll tell you this, if you know somebody that's going through dom domestic violence, you know anybody goes is going through domestic violence, call the police. Get them, move them away from the person that is doing it, the domestic violence. Help them out. Back them up when they need it. Show them some love or something. Because they don't want to end up like Tracy did. Because that's kind of fucked up. And I hope everybody learns from Tracy Thurman, her story, that love don't come. Love is not a hit in the face. Love, is don't, love doesn't come a punch in the face, a stab in the, in the neck, or a kick in the head. That is not love. That is fucking abuse. That is domestic violence. And every day, your family's got to live with it. When you sit up there and you allow one person to fuck you up like that, almost to death, almost to death, then, like I said, when you do that and you say you love them and you go back to them after you have that person arrested, to me, when you do that shit, then I mean you deserve to die if you do not wake the fuck up. When her son went to go see her in that hospital, he was more scared because what happened to his mother. Ain't nobody, I'm telling you, life is too short to let this continue on in this country, man. If you know, if, send this out, if you got a police officer in your family, if you got a husband or a wife, or a son or a daughter that just came from Iraq, or do you got a son or daughter or a husband or a wife that's in the police force, let them watch this video and the abusive video. I did. Because one thing is, my mother been through abuse. And I was too young to even know what abuse is or to remember it. But my mother went through it. So when my mother went through abuse, man, she took a lot of hell from it. Now the laws are getting so fucked up, man, that the, the domestic violence laws are dying off because the fucking police want to look for fucking terrorists and harass black folks or uh, Mexicans or other minorities. Then you got the fucking teens on YouTube making racist videos and doing nut shots and fight videos and shit that they don't even notice the real things in life. They too, they too stuck up on the silly shit not to know that the, the real shit is there, man. It's happening right there in front of your face and they don't do nothing. So ladies and gentlemen, like I said, man, if you know somebody that's a police officer that's in your family or that's a friend, show them this video and that video about abuse. Abuse in the relationship. And the, probably even the murder video I did. I'm not trying to promote myself of this, but I'm trying to put it out there where we need to wake up as a country and put an end to domestic violence and abuse because one hit is too damn many one hit is too damn many we need to come together as one and solve this problem same as teen pregnancy uh, abuse domestic violence child molestations uh, kids doing this racist YouTube rant why ain't nobody took a step forward and trying to put an end to this but it has to take one person to speak out on it for everybody to realize that this is really going on and it gets overlooked because y'all because people are too damn busy trying to sit up on Facebook MySpace Twitter YouTube whatever 
them damn social networks can fucking wait. If you know somebody that's getting abused or is in getting the getting domestic violence, you need to do something. Don't sit on your ass and wait for them to die. Get off your ass and help them. Oh, you probably gonna say, Oh well, if they don't want help, they don't do nothing. Don't act like that, cause that makes you stupid, and you just let somebody die. If they don't want my help, I ain't gonna do nothing. That just, to me, you're, you're just as guilty as the person that, that's doing all the hitting. Like Dr. Phil said, man, when he did, and plus we need to put it into bullying and cyberbullying. <clears throat> like Dr. Phil said when he did the episode about cyberbullying, he says you is just as guilty as the person that, that's doing it. If you know it's happening and if you watched it happen, you was just as guilty as the person that's, 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 as the person that's doing it. Don't sit back and watch them. Don't sit back and don't say nothing. Don't sit back and don't do nothing. Do something about it. Get off your ass and help that person out. It's all about being there for somebody. Anybody can get abused, a man, a woman, a child, a uh, elderly person. And every day, man, it continues on and on and on because people do are so chicken shit to do anything or say anything. And then when somebody speaks about, I don't know, y'all want to go, oh, that's fucked up, oh, that's sad, uh, yeah, that's fucked up and sad. Y'all could have did something about it, but you didn't want to because you want to sit on your ass and all day watching teen moms and 16 and pregnant and the mafia wives and the bachelor. This goes on. This right here goes on. When y'all watching the fucking bachelor or the view or whatever comes on VH1 and MTV, this happens every damn day day every damn day and y'all walk around and when y'all see the news y'all feel so bad cause that person got hurt but y'all don't want to do nothing about it cause y'all so stuck up in, cause your nose is so stuck up in the fucking air I'm so sick of people I see this every damn day man this is called really reality that's called reality and it happens every damn day out in the real world. But y'all, I'm so, I'm, I'm forgot. Y'all motherfuckers want to be up on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube watching your damn Bachelor, Bachelorette, and your fucking VH1 MTV bullshit. Not trying to, and that's how it is. When you know somebody's getting beat the fuck up, and you ain't going to do nothing, you was just as guilty as the person that's doing it. I want that to stick in your mind. You is just as guilty as the person that's doing it. If you know if it's going on. Because I hate to see on the news or read a newspaper. Young man dies of domestic violence. Married woman died of domestic violence. Whatever. Friend watches her friend. Gets gets killed by her lover or his lover domestic violence and didn't say nothing we need just to get up and do something about this domestic violence bullshit and that's how it is that's, a, that's how it is man well this has been Afro Joe 10 like T.I. is if you like my video leave a comment if you don't kiss my ass and move on follow me on twitter at afro joe the wookie subscribe to my channel see low junior 2 see low junior 3 subscribe to mother wookie at mother wookie holla at me